Okay. Make the adjustments you need. All right. Any pains or injuries before you start? We, we start. Okay, good. All right. Uh, good day. This is Stephen Chang coming to you live from 333 Grand in downtown Jersey City, New Jersey. Please visit my website, somehowyoga.com, for the hybrid schedule, which is in person here at 333 Grand, as well as on Zoom. Uh, you can register through ubindi.com. If you're watching this on YouTube, you can pay through Venmo or PayPal. And the payment information is on my website as well. All right, so that's simhayoga.com. Now, are you guys okay with me taking off my mask? Good? Okay. Let's sit up tall, everyone. And uh, those of you at home, if you're working with any kind of uh, special conditions or limitations, make sure that you modify or skip poses altogether. Okay, palms face up. And fingers come to Dhyana Mudra, some index fingers touching. As you ground evenly through your seat, sitting up tall, your shoulders broaden. And as you connect to the breath, let your inhales even out with your exhales. Three ohms together, inhale. Um, um, um. Keeping the eyes closed hands together in prayer on front of the heart, pressing the thumbs into your heart, heart back into the thumbs, lifting the heart up toward the sky, setting your intention for yoga practice, devoting your practice to someone or something or to yourself, your supreme self that lives within your heart, chanting the mantra for purification, purifying the space in which you practice yoga, call a response. Om Mapavitraha. Om ma pavitraha, pavitrava, pavitrava, sarva vushtan, sarva vushtan, kato piva, kato piva, yaha smarit, yaha smarit, pundrikaksham, pundrikaksham, sapahya, sapahya, pihyendraha, Bihyendraha, suchihi, suchihi. Starting to open the eyes and let the palms face up. Fingers come back to Gyana Mudra. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, right ear to the right shoulder, right hand to the left side. Mariana, the other side. Yep. And chin toward the right shoulder. Release back to center, drop the right hand, left ear to the left shoulder, left hand to the right side. Uh, Mariana, switch hands. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> and then the chin toward the left shoulder. Release back to center, drop the left hand, chin toward the chest. Big circles with the head in one direction, ear to one side, roll it back, opposite side. Roll the center. A few more rounds in that same direction. Nice and easy, gentle circles. Chin back to center and pause. And then taking the opposite direction. Come back to center again. Lifting the chin parallel to the floor and neutral spine. Extend the legs forward, separating the feet. Toes toward each other, and then roll out. Draw in, roll out, draw in. Outer rotation, circling. Come back to center, switch them around. Back to center again, cross your shins, opposite shin on top. Raise the arms up high, extend, twist to the right on the exhale. Uh, 
Back to center, arms up. Exhale, twist to your left. Back to center again, side bends, right hand down, left arm overhead. Take back to center, other side. Back to center, legs forward, forward fold. And release, take it back up, swing the legs back behind you, down dog, and start to pedal out the legs, walking it out side to side. All right, come back to stillness in your down dog. Inhale, raise your right leg up, three-legged dog. Exhale, draw the right knee in toward the nose and around the spine. Kick it up, open up the hips, bend the right knee. Re-extend the right leg, step it forward, warrior one. Reach the arms forward, parallel to the floor. On the inhale, open up the arms. Exhale, draw the arms forward. Inhale, open. Exhale, draw forward. Inhale, open. Exhale, draw forward. And then open it up for warrior two. Flip the front palm, reverse warrior. Exhale, side angle. You can modify elbow to the leg or right hand to the floor, left arm reaching up. Inhale, all the way back up, reverse warrior. Exhale, hands to the floor, right foot, stepping back, plank, and then lower all the way down to the belly. Three progressive cobras, hands alongside the ribcage, lift up, baby cobra. Exhale, lower arms all the way down. Lift up a little bit higher. Exhale, lower arms all the way down. Inhale, lift up even higher. Stay here. If you have full extension of your arms, keep it. If you need to bend your elbows to modify, take that. And release all the way down, child's pose, seat toward the heels. Down dog. Inhale, raise your left leg up. Exhale, left knee in toward the nose. Inhale, kick it up, open up the hips, bend the left knee. Re-extend the left leg, step it forward, warrior one. Reaching the arms forward, inhale, open wide. Exhale, draw the arms forward. Inhale, open wide. Exhale, draw forward, inhale, open. Exhale, draw forward, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, side angle, modifying. Elbow to the leg or hand to the floor. Right arm straight up. Inhale, all the way back up, reverse warrior. Exhale, hands to the floor, left foot, stepping back, plank. Inhale, one breath. Exhale, lower all the way down. Three progressive cobras again. Inhale, lift up, baby cobra. Exhale, almost all the way down. Inhale, lift up a little bit higher. Exhale, almost all the way down. Inhale, even higher, Bhujangasana Cobra Pose, full extension or slight bending of the elbows. And take it all the way down, Child's Pose, seat toward the heels and fold forward. All the way back up, Down Dog. Inhale, right heel up. Exhale, right knee in toward the nose. Kick it up, open up the hips, bend the right knee. Right knee outside the right arm in touch. Kick the back up. Step the right foot forward, warrior one. Inhale, lengthen front leg, reach up. 
Bend the front knee, arms alongside. Three times. Inhale, lengthen, reach up. Bend the front knee, arms alongside. Inhale, reach up. Keep the arms reaching up. Bending the front knee, warrior one. Open it up, warrior two. Same thing here. Lengthen front leg, reach up. Bend the front knee, warrior two. Lengthen, reach up. Warrior two. Lengthen, reach up. Warrior two. Flip the front palm, reverse warrior. Lengthen out the right leg, triangle. Right hand to top of the shin or to the floor, left arm up. Inhale, all the way back up, reverse triangle. Bend the front knee, hands to the floor, right foot, stepping back, plank. Inhale, one breath, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, exhale, down dog. Inhale, left heel up. Exhale, left knee and toward the nose. Kick it up, open up the hips, bend the left knee. Left knee outside of the left arm and touch. Kick back up. Step the left foot forward. Warrior one. Lengthen front leg. Reach up higher. Bend the front knee. Arms alongside. Lengthen. Reach up. Bend the front knee. Arms alongside. Lengthen. Reach up. Keep the arms reaching up. Bend the front knee. Warrior one. Open it up. Warrior two. Same thing here. Lengthen. Reach up. Warrior two. Lengthen, reach up. Warrior two. Lengthen, reach up. Warrior two. Flipping your front palm for reverse warrior. Exhale, lengthen out the left leg. Triangle. Modify with the hand to the shin or to the floor for the full pose. Right arm reaching up. Inhale, come up. Reverse triangle. Bend the front knee, hands to the floor, left foot, stepping back, plank. Inhale, one breath. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Right heel up. Right knee in toward the nose. Kick it up, open up the hips, bend the right knee. Right knee outside the right arm and touch. Kick it back up. Knee comes in to twist, touch your left arm. Kick the back up. Step in. Your right foot forward. Warrior one. Cactus the arms. Palms face forward. Draw the arms in toward each other. Inhale, open. Draw the arms in toward each other. Inhale, open. Draw the arms in. Inhale, open. Elbows toward the ribs. Palms face up. Reach the arms up. Touch the fingertips. Draw the elbows back. Reach the arms up. Draw the elbows back, stay here. Lift the heart up, gaze up for the back bend, ecstatic warrior. Bow forward, devotional warrior. Your hands are separated. Fingertips reach up as you bow the head down. So there's a modified version of your devotional warrior. And so if your shoulders are tight, binding your hands back behind you might be difficult. Inhale, come up, warrior one. Open it up, warrior two. Reverse warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. Left palm facing down and reach forward. Take it back up. Reverse. Lengthen out the right leg. Extended triangle. Left palm facing down. Reach forward. All the way back up, reverse triangle. Bending the front knee, hands to the floor, right foot, stepping back plank. Inhale, one breath. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Left heel up. Left knee in toward the nose. Kick it up, open up the hips. Bend the left knee. Left knee outside the left arm in touch. Kick back up. Knee comes into twist. Kick back up. Step the left foot forward. Warrior one. Practice your arms. Palms face forward. Draw the arms in toward each other. So your arms and your shoulders are very active here, right? Inhale, open. Draw the arms in toward each other. Inhale, open. 
Draw the arms in. Inhale, open. Elbows alongside the ribs and flip the palms to face up. Then reach your fingertips toward each other. Draw the elbows in. Reach up. Draw the elbows in. Stay here. Lift the heart center up. Broaden your shoulders. A modified version of your ecstatic warrior. Then bow forward. Devotional warrior. Crown of the head toward the floor. Fingertips reach up. But your arms are wide. Inhale all the way back up. Warrior one. Open it up. Warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Extend it, side angles. Again, modify with arm to the knee or left hand to the floor. Right palm facing down, reach forward. Extend it, side angle. Inhale, take it back up, reverse. Lengthen out the left leg, extend it triangle, modify with the hand to the shin or to the floor, right palm facing down, reach forward. Inhale, come up, reverse triangle, bend the front knee, hands to the floor, left foot stepping back, plank. Inhale, one breath, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Draw forward into your plank. Lower the knees down. Walk your hands to hands and knees. Take the left hand, one hand print wider, one hand print further forward. On the inhale, raise your right elbow up. On the exhale, threading through, but stay hovering. Inhale, raise your right elbow up. Exhale, thread it through and stay up. One more. Inhale up. Exhale, thread through. Now this time, lower your right shoulder, right cheek to the floor, left hand pressing down and twist deeper. Press into your left hand. Lift it back up. Take it back to hands and knees. On the inhale, reach your right heel back. Exhale, right knee in toward the nose. Three times, kick it back. Right knee in toward the nose. Kick it back. Right knee in toward the nose. This time, kick back, open up the hips, bend the right knee. Right knee to outside the right arm. Open it back up. Right knee outside the right arm. Open it back up. Right knee outside the right arm. Open it back up. Now stay there, look past your left shoulder for the sole of the right foot. Square back to center. As you kick the right leg back, tuck the left toes under, lift the left knee. Three-legged dog. Stepping your right foot forward, low lunge, and raise the arms up high for high lunge. Lengthen front leg and reach up. Bend the front knee, arms alongside. Lengthen and reach up. Bend the front knee, arms alongside. Lengthen and reach up, keep the arms up, bend the front knee. Wrap the right hand back behind you, left arm forward. Soften your left elbow. Draw the left elbow back. Exhale, twist to the right. Draw the left elbow back. Twist to the right. Draw the left elbow back. Twist to the right. Stay twisting to the right. Square it back to center. Raise your left arm up and bend your left elbow. Left elbow to the right knee three times. Lift back up. Left elbow, right knee. Take it back up. Left elbow, right knee. Stay there. Twisted lunge with a half bind. Inhale, come all the way up and around. Reverse warrior. Exhale, hands to the floor. Right foot stepping back plank. Lower all the way down to the belly. Sphinx pose. Walk your hands forward. Forearms down. You can grab opposite elbows to line up your shoulders and readjust your forearms to parallel. Press your belly and your lower ribs down, but lift your chest in all position.
child's pose. Elbows out so that you can lower your chest, walk your hands back, and draw the seat toward the heels. Dolphin push-ups, forearms are down. Take your hands into a fist. Either wrap one hand over the other or interlace your fingers. Either is fine. Then tuck the toes under, lift the hips, and push it back into a dolphin push-up. Inhale, come forward. Exhale, press back five times. Inhale forward. Exhale back. Inhale forward. Exhale back. Inhale forward. Exhale back. Last one. Inhale forward. Exhale back. Take the knees back down. Reset for your hands and knees. Walk your right hand. One hand print wider, one hand print further forward. So we're threading through three times. Inhale, lift. Exhale, thread through. Stay hovering. Inhale, lift. Exhale, thread. Inhale, lift. Exhale, thread. Now, left shoulder, left cheek can come to the floor. Press your right hand down to deepen your twist. All right, lift it back up, walk it back to your hands and knees. Inhale, kick your left heel back. Exhale, left knee in toward the nose. Inhale, kick back. Exhale, left knee. Inhale, kick back. Exhale, left knee in. This time, kick it back, open up the hips, bend the left knee. Left knee to the outside of the left arm in touch. Kick it back. Left knee outside of the left arm. Kick it back. Left knee outside of the left arm. Kick it back and stay there. Look past your right shoulder for the sole of the right foot, uh, left foot. All right, square back. Re-extend the left leg. Tuck the right toes under. Lift the right knee for three-legged dog. Step the left foot forward. Low lunge. Raise the arms up high for high lunge. So you're in your right tiptoe. Yeah, there you go. Once you're steady, inhale, lengthen, reach up. Bend the front knee, arms alongside. Inhale, lengthen, reach up. Bend the front knee, arms alongside. Inhale, lengthen, reach up. Keep the arms reaching up. Bending the front knee, high lunge. Wrap the left hand back behind you, right arm forward, and bend your right elbow to soften your right elbow. Draw the right elbow back on the inhale. Exhale, twist your left. Inhale, draw back. Exhale, twist left. Inhale, draw back. Exhale, twist left. Stay there and maintain that twist for a couple of breaths. Square back to center. Raise your right arm up and bend your right elbow. Right elbow, left knee. Inhale, take it back up. Right elbow, left knee. Inhale, take it back up. Right elbow, left knee, and stay there. A twisted lunge with a half bind. Inhale, come all the way up, square it back around, warrior two. Inhale, reverse, warrior. Exhale, hands to the floor, left foot stepping back, and then lower all the way down to the belly. Again, sphinx pose, walk your hands forward, forearms down. Measure out, forearms parallel. Press your belly and your lower ribs to the floor and then lift your chest in opposition. And release child's pose. Elbows out to the side so you can lower your chest, walk your hands back and then transitioning to child's pose. Dolphin push-ups again. Lower your forearms down. Now this time, when you wrap or interlace, you're going to take the other hand on top or the other thumb on top when you interlace. So either way is fine. Just take the opposite side. And then press it back to your dolphin. When you're ready, come forward. Exhale, press back five times. Inhale forward. Exhale back is two. Inhale forward. Exhale back three. 
Inhale forward. Exhale back four. Inhale forward. Exhale back five. Lower the knees back down. Down dog. Start to walk your feet forward toward your hands. Come to the front of the mat. Separate your feet about mats with distance. Left hand to center, bend your left knee, raise your right arm up to twist. Take a half bind, right hand behind you, stack a little bit more. Extend it, raise your right arm up and reach forward, palm facing down. Then take the right hand to the floor, square off, Bow forward, grab yogic toe lock, inhale, lengthen, exhale, pull with your fingertips against your big toes, and then forward folding a little bit deeper. Release, other side, right hand to center, creating a tripod, bend your right knee, inhale, raise your left arm up to twist, Half bind, left hand behind you. Twist a little bit deeper. Extend it, raise your left arm up, left palm facing down and reach forward. Release your left hand down to the floor, square off. Then take yogic toe lock again. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, fold. Release your hands back down to the floor, bend both knees. Then taking your triceps, pressing to the tops of the knees, create that resistance and lift. Your tail's reaching back, the crown of the head reaching forward, your arms are pressing against your knees and knees back into your arms. So everything very active. So by now your inner thighs and your quads should start to fire up. Now possibly your arms are firing up as well. Three more breaths. On the inhale, release, lengthen out the legs as you lift up, take it into a slight back bend. Come back up to vertical, side bending to the right. So right arm alongside, left arm overhead. Take it back up, switch sides, side bend to your left. Take it back to center. Step the left foot into our center. Pick up the right knee. Right hand to your right knee or yoga toe lock. Extend left arm out and open. Square back. Seated spinal twist, right knee behind the left heel, gently, start to take it down. Left hand behind you, right arm up and twist to your left. Inhale, take it back to center, counter twist to the right. Square back to center, step the left foot down, standing split, right leg up, folding forward. Step the right foot all the way back, crescent moon, right knee comes to the floor. Take extra padding if you need by folding your mat, whatever you need. Then once you're set with your base, lunging forward, getting a nice quad stretch. When you're ready, arms up, Venus Mudra.
Release your hands. Half split. Tuck the right toes under. Shift back. Line up the hips with the right knee. Flex your left foot and lengthen your left hamstrings. Step the left foot back down, hands to either side, raise your right knee. So in a low lunge, let's twist. Right hand stays down, left arm up. Extend it, left palm to face down and reach forward. So actively reach your right heel back as you extend the left arm forward. Half moon. Left hand forward about a foot, loop up to left side, and come into your balance. All right, when you're ready to break, step it back. Warrior two, reverse warrior. Hands to the floor, chaturanga, up dog, down dog. Walk your feet forward towards your hands. Again, step your feet wide. All right, this time, bending your knees. Press your right elbow to your inner right knee, right hand to your inner left knee, and squeeze your inner thighs. Raise your left arm up with a half bind to twist. All right, Leona, if you take your arm further to the inside of the knee so you can squeeze, yeah. All right, start to release. Left hand comes back down, right hand comes down, forward fold. Now this time you're gonna grab the back of the heels, inhale, lengthen, exhale, fold. Release your hands down, second side, bend your knees. Left arm to the inner left knee, left hand to the inner right knee. Then raise your right arm up, with a half bind to twist. Squeeze your inner thighs strongly. All right, release, hands back to the floor. Lengthen out the legs. Again, grab the back of the heels. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, fold. All right, release your hands down, bend at the knees. Now this time, if you can, get your arms even, uh, sorry, your knees even higher up the triceps, maybe even toward your armpit. All right, and then let the feet drop, crown of the head reaching forward, your arms are strongly pressing against your knees, knees back into your arms. On the inhale, lengthen out, Reach up, slightly tilting back for a back bend to release all of that. Come back to vertical. Bend your right elbow, left hand to your right elbow. Side bend to your left. Take it back up, switch sides. Bend your left elbow, right hand to your left elbow. Side bend right. Come back up to vertical. Step the right foot in towards center. Pick up the left knee. Left hand to the left knee or yogic toe lock, extend. Right arm out to counterbalance. When you're ready, open.
square back to center. Sorry, uh, see the spinal twist, square back to center and left knee behind the right heel and very controlled. See if you can sit all the way down. Right hand is behind you, left arm is up and twist. I almost forgot the seated spinal twist. Inhale back to center, exhale come to twist. Back to center, standing split, step the right foot down. Raise your left leg up and fold. Step the left foot all the way back for crescent moon. Left knee comes down, set up the base, then lunge forward when you're ready. Arms up, Venus Mudra. Yes. Half split, hands to the floor. Tuck the left toes under, shift your hips over your left knee, flex your right foot. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, fold. Step the right foot back down, tuck the left toes under. Low lunge, let's twist. Left hand down, right arm up. Extend it, right palm to face down and reach forward. So actively reach your left heel back as you extend the right arm forward. So get even lengthier. Half moon, right hand forward about a foot, loop off to right side, tip forward, and balance. Step back, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Hands to the floor, chaturanga, up dog, down dog. Step the left foot forward, low lunge, right foot forward, standing forward bend. Feet together, knees together, take it up chair. Stepping on the left foot, pick up the right knee, tree pose. Once you study any additional variations you like, feel free to explore. You can take a heart opener by wrapping your hands back behind you. You can take your side bending to the right. If you have your more advanced variations, it could be a half lotus into a forward fold, forward fold to a tiptoe balance. All right, make your way back to your tree. 
Starting to finish up, arms up, stepping your right foot back down, chair. Exhale, dive forward. Stay in the forward fold and take three breaths. All right, bend the knees, take it up, come back up to chair. Stepping on the right foot, pick up the left knee. Tree pose, second side. Once you're steady, you are either staying here or working through your variations of your choice. If you're wrapping your hands back behind you, take the other thumb on top. Side bending left if you'd like. If you're taking your half lotuses, forward folding, tiptoe balances. All right, Jennifer, getting there, trying it out. <laughs> yeah, try it out and see how far you go. Every time you just take it a little bit further as you gain the pose in terms of the shape and also the balance and the flexibility. All right, start to break, come back to center, step the left foot down chair, exhale, dive forward. Crow pose, hands come forward, about a foot and a half, knees to the back of the arms. Mariana, look forward a little bit past your mat instead of looking behind you. Try again. There you go. <laughs> right? So the reason is because when you look behind you, the weight of the head drops, drops downwards and back in space. Whereas if you lift the head up this way, the balance makes better sense because you have more weight going this way to balance the weight of the legs going that way. Right? Whereas, if you're looking behind you, it will always feel like you're falling forward. Okay? All right. Let's make your way back. Walk it back. Jump it back to down dog. Inhale. Left heel up. Step the left foot forward to the outside of the left hand. Lizard pose. If your hips are open, you can point the left toes forward. If your hips are tight, you can point the toes out and the left thigh also turns out. Walk your hands forward about a foot and lower your forearms. Then everyone, lower your right knee down. Untuck the toes. If your toes are pointing forward, turn your left toes out. Uh, actually, let's lift back up first. If your toes are pointing forward, turn your left toes out. We're going to twist. Ground the right palm, bend your right knee, reach your left hand back, and twist. All right, step that right foot back down, turn the right toes in, stand on that right knee. Walk your left foot further forward and turn your left toes to the right side. So you want to keep the foot flat to the floor. Gate pose, palms face up, side bending to the left. Take it back up. Side bending to the right. Take it back up. Turn your left toes back forward. Step it back in. Let's transition back. 
Rotate your right heel back. Raise your left leg up. Three like a dog. Pigeon pose. Left knee comes in. Land that shin to the floor. Into right knee further back. Set up your pose. Elongate. And then make your way forward. Either remain here for those of you who liked your variations. You can go ahead and take your mermaids, take your twists, anything you want. Pigeon is one of those poses where we have many options. If you want to stay quiet and uh, still, it is your passive pigeon. There's a lot of hip opening that comes with just breathing within the pose. If you like other movements, you can add back bends, you can add quad stretches or rotations, anything you want. Three more breaths. All righty, start to make your way back up. Tuck the right toes under and press it back to your down dog and take lots of movement for the, the left leg in particular. Pedaling out, swaying out your hips side to side. All righty, come back to stillness, knee down dog, second side, lizard pose first. Raise your right leg up. Step the right foot forward to the outside of the right hand. If your hips are pretty uh, flexible, keep your right toes pointing straight forward. If that's difficult, point the right toes out, right thigh also turns out. Walk your hands forward about a foot, and then lower your forearms. All right, start to take the left knee down, untuck the toes. Lift the elbows back up. Now, if your toes are pointing forward, go ahead and point the toes uh, to the right at this point. Left hand to ground, bend your left knee, reach back with your right hand, kick it back and stack deeper. All righty, started to break. Square back uh, with your hands supporting. Point the right toes forward. Tuck the left toes under. On the inhale, kick your right leg up. Three-legged dog. Draw the right knee in. Land that shin to the floor for your pigeon. Into your left knee for the back. Elongate, set it all up. Once you're ready, make your way forward.
and either stay here in passive pigeon, stay with stillness, stay with quiet, or if you're working with other binding, twisting, rotations, whatever you'd like. Two more breaths. All righty, let's break. Make your way back up. Tuck the left toes under and gently make your way back to your down dog and pedal out your legs. In particular for your right leg, bring lots of movement. And when you're ready, walk your feet forward toward your hands and take the seat down. Extend the legs forward, arms up and forward fold. Paschimottanasana, seated forward bend. Grabbing your feet, ankles or your shins. Make sure to first work with a lengthy spine, neutral spine, and then hinge at the hips to take it forward. Start to lift back up, lowering onto your back. You can assist with your hands. Then taking your left knee in, recline, twisting, twist to the right. Take it back to center, switch legs, switch arms, twist the other direction. Back to center again, hug both knees in. And step the feet to the floor, slide the legs forward. Shavasana, find a relaxation. The feet separate, toes are turning out, arms alongside, eyes are closed, let it all go.
begin to draw the breath back in, moving the fingers and the toes. When you're ready, reach the arms overhead, stretching in opposite directions. Gently rolling over to the right side and come up to a comfortable cross-legged position. You're connecting to an even seat, a lengthy spine, shoulders broad, breath deep, and let the neck be free. Inhale for arm. Um, hands together in prayer, bowing forward, sealing in the practice. You know, come up. Namaste, everybody. Thank you so much for sharing your practice with me. And thank you for sharing your practice with me. My name is Stephen Cheng, coming to you live from 333 Grand in downtown Jersey City, New Jersey. Please visit my website, simhayoga.com, and you can get the full hybrid schedule on there, um, which is in person here at 333 Grand, as well as on Zoom. Uh, registration through ubindi.com. If you're watching this on YouTube, classes are $10, and you can pay through Venmo or PayPal, and payment information is on my website as well. So again, it is simhayoga.com. Thank you so much. Be well. See you soon.